Well, good morning, Mount Gilead. It is great to be back with you this morning. Um, here it is. It's uh, it's another Friday. We made it through another week. Um, it's it's TGIF again. It's a beautiful morning, and not only that, but it's the month of May. We made it through April. It's hard to believe. It, sound, it seems like April was maybe the longest. Th this April is maybe the longest April um, that I can remember, but we made it. And so good morning. It's great to have you with us this morning. Um, I thought I'd keep it a little bit lighter this morning. I found a story that I wanted to share with you. I promise you, if you stay, if you stay with me till the end, I promise you that there is a point. Uh, but here's a, here's a story I found. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. On the first day, God created the dog and said, sit all day by the door of your house, and bark at anyone who comes in or walks past. For this, I will give you a lifespan of 20 years. The dog said, that's a long time to be barking. How about only 10 years? And I'll give you back the other 10. So God agreed. On the second day, God created the monkey and said, entertain people, do tricks make them laugh. For this, I'll give you a 20-year lifespan. The monkey said, monkey tricks for 20 years? That's a, that's a pretty long time to perform. How about I give you back 10 like the dog did? And God agreed. On the third day, God created the cow and said, you must go into the field with the farmer all day long and suffer under the sun, have calves, and give milk to support the family. For this, I'll give you a lifespan of 60 years. The cow said, that's kind of a tough life. You want me to live for 60 years? How about just 20? And I'll give you back the other 40. And God agreed again. On the fourth day, God created humans and said, eat, sleep, play, and marry, and enjoy your life. For this, I'll give you 20 years. But the human said, only 20 years? Could you possibly give me my 20? The 40 the cow gave back? The 10 the monkey gave back? And the 10 the dog gave back? That makes 80, okay? Okay, said God, you asked for it. So that is why for our first 20 years, we eat, sleep, play, and enjoy ourselves. For the next 40 years, we slave in the sun to support our family. For the next 10 years, we do monkey tricks to entertain the grandchildren. And for the last 10 years, we sit on the front porch and bark at everyone. Life has now been explained. You remember, I, now I told you there was a point. You remember Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, wrote in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18, these words, This is what I have observed to be good, that it is appropriate for a person to eat, to drink, and to find satisfaction in their toilsome labor under the sun during the few days of life God has given them, for this is their lot. Of course, we know Solomon was battling some depression when he wrote those words, some major soul searching, but there is a lot of truth in what Solomon wrote in those words. And the truth is this, that life is a gift. No matter the circumstances, no matter what's happening, no matter, no matter what stage we're in, life is a gift. And so I think today the challenge is to try to treat today like the gift that it is. Loving God, loving people, and finding joy and peace and contentment all along the way. I hope that brings you some encouragement this, this morning. I hope you have a great Friday, a great weekend. It looks like it's going to be incredible outside. Hopefully you can enjoy this great spring air, this great gift.
from God, and hopefully I'll see you 10 o'clock Sunday morning as we gather for church. We'll see y'all.